Welcome to another edition of the Sports Interview. I'm Kevin Anzenberger. Women's basketball here on campus has come to an end, but not before they made a late run in Salem. Under the first-year coach Ann Crutchfield, the Wasps defied odds and made it to the semifinals of the ODAC tournament. Christy Langley is here today and is going to talk about not only the Wasp successful season, but her successful career as well. Christy, thanks for being here. No problem. Yeah, and I want to go back to the, the very beginning of your senior season. Um, you had to go through a coaching change. And mm -hmm. coaching changes are always tough, but especially tough when you're already established and a senior on the squad. Yeah, I was really nervous when we first found out that um, Coach Katz was leaving and we would be getting Coach Crutchfield. But it turned out to be actually really monumental for our program. And what, what did Coach Crutchfield bring to the table that really made you guys buy in? Um, we really liked how she changed the way that um, we play as a team. So my first three years here, we kind of had a slow pace in how we played. We never really pressed, and we kind of ran a zone defense for the majority. But um, Coach Crutchfield brought in, um, we press, and then most of our offense is based around transition. So it was very different. And something you can see on the sidelines from Coach Crutchfield is she's very intense. Mm -hmm. uh, could you talk about sort of <laughs> – Dealing with that intensity uh, day in and day out. Um, she's very detail oriented. So in practice, she was the kind. Of, she's the kind of coach who doesn't let any slack come in. So it was very, a uh, very different atmosphere in practice and in games because she just makes you pay attention to detail and she makes you always give your best, which turns out to be a good thing. Yeah, and Coach Crutchfield wasn't the only new member of the squad. Uh, specifically, Chloe Harris, mm -hmm. um, a new freshman that came in, one ODAC freshman of the year. What was it like being at the battle lines and, and playing with someone every night that was four years younger than you? Um, it was a little different, I'm not going to lie, but she was the type of player who um, was very adaptable and was willing to, you know, do about anything coach asked of her or her teammates. So she was a lot of fun to play with. And on the court, it really didn't feel like she was a freshman. She plays kind of like an older girl, so it was fun. Yeah, that was very apparent all year. <laughs> and I want to talk about that run in Salem. Mm -hmm. uh, that was awesome. I was able to make it to one of the games where you guys upset Randolph-Macon. Mm -hmm. um, actually did it two times this year. <laughs> but what went into that run? You know, What made that run so monumental? I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that when we played them in our senior day game, we wound up pulling out like a late victory when uh, Chloe hit that three in the last two or three seconds. And um, I think it just gave us the confidence that we needed. And, you know, so many of our girls besides, you know, Chloe being the only freshman besides Rachel Lane, um, so many of our girls had, you know, know what it knew what it felt like to not make it to Salem and knew how devastating it is to go through an entire season to not make it there. And once we got there, you know, we completely bought in and were just willing to give it whatever we had to in order to go as far as we could. I want to talk a little bit about your individual accolades. Uh, this year, towards the end of the year, you passed the 1,000-point scoring mark. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? Um, I think it just, you know, is a very, I was very honored, I guess, to have reached that landmark in my career. Um, I think that it also says a lot about the people I play with because, you know, it took, it took four years to get that accomplishment and throughout those four years I played with a bunch of different great girls who all helped make that possible. So I think it says a lot about the program. And not only are you getting it done on the court, uh, you're an academic All-American. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how do you do it? How do you balance sports <laughs> and school like that? Um, you mean, I mean, I think being an athlete makes you be, uh, well, I guess work really hard to figure out how to manage your time. And so it's kind of like, you know, when you get done with classes, you only have two hours before you have practice. So you have to make sure you're just using the best of those two hours. So I guess I just, you know, try to manage my time as well as possible. And unfortunately in Salem, that run did come to an end. Mm -hmm. Uh, take me through the feeling, the emotion of stepping off the court for the last time. Um, I guess they say you don't really know how it feels until it actually happens to you. It's hard to explain. It just, you know, up until the last buzzer, I felt, you know, I felt okay. And then it's just like once the, once the buzzer went off, it was like, you just like, it takes your breath away, you know, because something that, you know, you've played for since, well, for personally for me, I've played since I was eight years old. And for it to finally like come to an end and know that you'll never play in another game again is just, it's devastating. Like. I know you know as an athlete, it's hard to imagine, so. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I can't <laughs> sympathize, but, but yeah. I can see how you feel. And, and your career has come to an end. 
but we mentioned you get it done off the court as well. Mm -hmm. What's next for Christy Langley? Um, well, I'm graduating in May, so I have to take a gap year to get um, clinical experience, but then my next plan is to start applying to physician assistant programs in North Carolina to see where I can get in and hopefully become a physician's assistant one day. And as you look back on these 40 years, um, and maybe somebody who's getting recruited now by Coach mm -hmm. Kendall or Coach Crutchfield, and they're about to come into Emory and Henry. After these four years of playing, these four years of school, what advice can you give them? Um, I think my advice would just be to buy in. Emory's a great place, and it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. So just buy into the program and you know give it everything you have because you can go from a program that went you know two and twenty my freshman year to making it to the final four at Salem. So. You know, just buy in. It's, it's a great thing to be a part of. I, I, college athletics is a great thing to be a part of. And lastly, Christy, um, you're about to graduate in May. Not only on the court, but off the court as well. What kind of legacy do you want to leave? Who is Christy Langley when you went to Emory <laughs> Henry College? Um, uh, I just want to, I guess, be remembered for my work ethic, I guess. Um, for basketball, I'm super excited to come back and watch the program continue to grow. I know we're only going to keep getting better from here with Coach Crutchfield at the head and with all the great players we're getting in as well as the great players we already have. And um, I guess academically, I would you know, just say, um, I guess I'd just like to be remembered for my work ethic, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, congratulations, Christy, on a great career. Um, a great season and a great run in Salem. It was really fun to watch. And best of luck after you graduate. Thank man. you. Thank you. That'll do it for the sports interview. I'm Kevin Hansenberger. She's Christy Langley. We will now send it over to Nathan Fischel with the sports update.